Redland.farm. Quick little idea for an easy mobile battery bank here. This is a AGM battery. It's not gel. Uh, 200 amp hour, 12 volt. I need something that if there's a... Uh, I'm gone and my wife needs to plug something in and the generator's out and the other battery banks are out. She can just move this around. I was gonna either put it on a hand truck, which I might still prefer to put that on like uh, some type of cheap hand truck, you know, a two-wheeler. Basically, all I did was take the Harbor Freight, little um, uh, movers thing, the movers dolly and I zip tied it on to hold the inverter. I was gonna use a 2000 watt, but then these whistlers, they'll go up to, uh, they can do like for a couple of seconds twice they're rated. And uh, so basically all she's gonna do, well, let me show you what I got here. This is the charger and uh, they stopped selling these unfortunately. They have the bigger one, but this one has AGM setting right there for 12 volt can also do lithium and it says it does gel but I gotta look into that because gel is supposed to be no not not at 14.4 volts but I just covered it with this if you touch this with metal you're gonna have troubles if you touch those two and the negative and positive with the inverter which I just covered with the wires and to keep this uh, charger on I just use some mason line real quick on the I use two watt gauge wire. I'll probably wrap this with something, this wiring to make it look a little nicer. And just in case nothing can drop and hit those terminals. But you don't wanna block the airflow of the inverter. So let me show you. It's, uh, this is that little uh, movers dolly from Harley Harbor Freight. They're like $10. Those little things are like $10. That's a bigger one. If you wanted to do two, which would probably be too heavy, but you could see you could put two on the wood part of that bigger mover's dolly. But one's plenty big. And it's got, you know, 12 volts times 200. So you're getting 2,400 volts, but only 80% efficiency. You still got like 2,000 watts. So I just kept this little clip to hold that up, but obviously, you know, that just comes out. And you can pull it like that. Um, so all she's going to do is turn this on. And that's 12.551 volts. That's if she's got something plugged in. I'll do a test on the other battery bank and make sure they run enough stuff. Two freezers and such. So you got three things. If you're just going to use uh, the USB, you do this one. And then it doesn't, uh, I think it's a lot more efficient and stuff. So that's how the inverter works to plug in. And then when it gets low, ideally you don't take it down below 50% charge. You plug in the smart charger into a plug. And it starts up. And it remembers what it used last. So it went straight to AGM. And it's charging. It's gonna go up there. So that's just a quick little, doesn't take long at all. It just takes time to make the, you know, I made the length of the, the cables took the longest part. And when you do them, I recommend, I'll put a link in for this. You put it in here and uh, I don't, you can't show you one hand up, but that comes up. I'll put a link and then you slam it with the, uh, Three pound sledgehammer and it puts your uh, crimps your uh, wire. So let me show you. I really like the 200. I wish I'd have got more of these. This was a really good deal. Usually you're gonna pay about two dollars an amp hour, whereas for lead acid you pay like a dollar an amp hour. But I did get a good deal on some of these. I got like a dozen of those. I haven't. But anyway, I did like a little two two bank one, but it's just not as nice, you know. But I did put a fuse on it. Oh, that's something else. Um, I didn't put a fuse. There's a fuse to the from the charger, but if I had the space or whatever, I probably would have put like a two or three hundred amp fuse on there, in case you would arc it here. The fuse would short. 
course, you got the same thing if you arc it here. If you isn't gonna stop it. So that's just easy. My wife, because we got concrete everywhere, she can roll that around and plug in whatever's got to plug in, even if you got to plug in a pump or something. Um, but if I didn't have all concrete and all smooth surface, I wouldn't use that little dolly uh, with the with that T handle. I would use a, a hand cart, you know, to move it around. So. That's just a quick way to do a little mobile battery bank for around the house. Redland Nut Farm, out.